Vegans are extremely stupid and brainwashed. You may be thinking to yourself, whoa, is Conscious Calisense gone mad? Is he just hating on vegans? No, I'm not hating on vegans. I'm just sharing my own personal opinion on something that I think people need to be aware of. So, I used to be one of these vegans. I was on a vegan diet for around six years until about 45 days ago, and I got extremely brainwashed by so many different vegans that I'd listened to over the years that said that a vegan diet is the best diet for everyone due to the health benefits that it gives you. We are all designed for plant-based foods and we shouldn't be eating any animal foods because they're so toxic and dangerous for your health due to so many different reasons that they preach left, right and center. Then they say it's the only compassionate diet towards animals because it doesn't harm animals whatsoever, which that is a load of garbage because so much of the plant foods, when they're harvested and when they're grown, end so many animals' lives. So pff, yeah, that's just doesn't make any sense to them to say that at all. And then they also say that a vegan diet is the only diet that is not destroying the environment. And that the rainforest is being destroyed due to meat being provided on our plate. Which again, a lot of the time, that is absolute garbage as well. And when I actually made the switch back to animal foods after being vegan for around six years, I started to wake up to the reality of so much of the brainwashing that had occurred within me from all of this extreme programming from evangelistic vegans out there that are very dogmatic and idealistic that so much of what they're saying is misinformation, myths and lies. And so much of it is based on pseudo science. It is completely flawed. Yet, so many of us allow ourselves, such as myself when I was vegan, to open up our brain and trust these people. Because they say a lot of things that seem to make sense to us, they seem to resonate with us, and we're emotional beings, and a lot of them seem to trap you into their vegan agenda and pull you into it through our emotions. Because we don't want the planet to be destroyed. We don't like animals being harmed. If we could thrive on a plant-based diet, I think a lot of people would stick to it because it can cause less suffering to animals if done in the most conscious way possible. And a lot of us care about our health. This is why we get on a vegan diet. But long term, just like I realize and many other people out there, we start to go downhill and deteriorate like crazy. We start to yeah, realize that it's a malnourishing diet that is not sustainable long term and has some serious negative health consequences if done for too long. Yet all these vegans out there say, oh, well, it is the best diet, it is the most sustainable diet, and you can make it work. And if it didn't work for you, you did it wrong. They don't like to blame the vegan diet whatsoever. They will find any excuse to just get people to believe in their vegan agenda so they can get so many people to go vegan. That's all they care about. And so many of these people seem to be anti-human but pro-animal. They don't care if you're suffering as much as possible, how much you're suffering on a vegan diet. They say, well, if you're truly a vegan, it doesn't matter. Just suffer with your bloating or your gas or your diarrhea or your depression. It doesn't matter. As long as you aren't harming their animals and you're still vegan, that's all that matters. This is what people like Freely the Banana Girl says, oh, she is absolutely crazy and she needs to sort herself out. She's one of the most emotionally unbalanced like people out there that preach the vegan movement like crazy and that just seem to have a lot of mental health issues that are unaddressed going on for her, that she needs some real psychiatric help for. And just a lot of animal foods, so she starts to get all the essential fatty acids and nutrients that she's been lacking for so long on a vegan diet that end up inducing these things within her and making her such an angry, violent person towards people that are not vegan. But yeah, so many people listen to Vegan Gains, for example. I've mentioned him a few times in videos. If you look at him, he looks absolutely miserable. He suffers with depression. He doesn't have good energy levels. His skin's not good. He has excess body fat. He has so many things going on with him where he is just surviving on a vegan diet and he's not thriving whatsoever. And guess what? I never even used to listen to him because I'd listen to him and be like, hmm, you're not a shining example of a vegan diet. There were times that I would check out his videos because sometimes they can be quite entertaining but that's the only time I would actually listen to him, just for some entertainment purposes. And I think that's about all he is good for. Yet, he 
is seen by many vegans as someone to listen to because he just reels off so much science. And all of the science that he preaches like crazy, well, the vegans say, well, that shows that a vegan diet is good. But if you start to pull apart the science that he shares with people online through his social media platforms, you start to realize a lot of it's just pseudoscience and it can be completely debunked and pulled apart. And this is what you're gonna see right throughout the whole vegan movement. There's so many different vegan doctors and scientists that want to get people on their vegan diet and lifestyle due to their own personal beliefs of it being the best diet and lifestyle to lead for many different reasons. But a lot of them don't seem to care about people's health. Like I said, if you're still on a vegan diet, that's all these vegans seem to care about. Because they believe if you're not even a vegan diet, you are a really horrible, bad person that's not compassionate or empathic at all. You can't love animals whatsoever if you're eating them, which is a load of garbage as well. And it's just absolute insanity. And I am so glad that I have massively deprogrammed myself from all of that crap. And when you start to look into actual real science out there and information that has some valid evidence to back up what people are saying about things such as pasture-raised animals, which have been shown to improve our environment. Factory farming is definitely not good. That definitely does have a negative effect on environment. It is the worst environment for animals as well. But when the animals are pasture-raised and free-range, it gives them the best life possible, and it has some improvements on our environment rather than it cutting down the rainforest and causing loads of negative effects to our environment as a whole. And yeah, what I say is you can eat animal foods and have a really negative effect on your health. If you're eating loads of the worst quality animal foods out there that are so highly processed, like processed meats, for example, then yeah, that's not good for your health in any way whatsoever. But if you're eating the highest quality meats and highest quality fish and raw milk and raw cheese, and so on, and getting rid of all the garbage in your diet, it is a very healing diet for many people. It got rid of all of my health issues and symptoms going on holistically, it resolved all my digestive issues, and I've seen this with so many other people that have made the switch as well, and many people that I've got to switch from a vegan diet when they've not been thriving onto a meat-based diet time and time again. And antidotal evidence, well, the vegans will say, well, there's no science to prove it. The antidotal evidence doesn't mean anything whatsoever. Well, my own personal human experience with my own choices and my own diet choices in life as a whole is what I am going to follow. Just because your pseudoscience says it's the best diet for people, the vegan diet, well, guess what? For many people, it turns out long term that it's not. Yet again, the vegan diet people will say, well, it's because you did a water fast or you juice fast or you did this thing or that thing or that thing. They never blame the vegan diet because they believe that it's the best diet for people. Yet it's one of the most malnourishing, dangerous diets in the world that I would not recommend to anyone. It's lacking so many different essential fatty acids in abundance and certain vitamins and minerals and certain other nutrients that are almost impossible to get on a vegan diet or they are impossible to get. Or if they are in a food such as zinc, the phytates bind to it because Dr. Michael McGregor says that you can get adequate amounts of zinc by consuming pumpkin seeds. But guess what? If they are not sprouted, you cannot absorb the minerals within it because the phytates bind to it. So when you consume it, it just flushes throughout your whole digestive system down into the toilet. So what a waste of money and time actually eating and digesting that. When instead, you could eat some high quality grass fed beef and it's gonna give you all the zinc and other nutrients that you need without all the plant toxins and no anti-nutrients whatsoever. And guess what? We have eaten meat for millions of years. We are designed for it. It is healthy for us. It is good for us. And most of the issues come with people consuming all the other crap that is in their diet. And this is why so many vegans say they feel good when they stop eating the diet that they ate previously because the majority of them have gone from a standard American diet to a vegan diet. And guess what? When you remove all the crap, that is what is probably making you feel good on a vegan diet. It's not necessarily the vegan foods, but if you was actually to switch to a healthy, a clean animal-based diet, 
you would get all the benefits of a vegan diet and way more benefits on top of that vegan diet and you'd be able to actually sustain it long term because you'd be getting all of the nutrients that you need to be the healthiest possible and for you to function to the best of your ability so you can have the most amazing human experience possible. So I hope this helps some people wake up. Please share this with your vegan friends that are maybe not thriving. Maybe this will help them to start to just wake up and start trying out animal foods that are gonna start giving people all of the fat they need so their brain is being nourished and all of your organs so you cannot be a crazy, erratic, stupid, brainwashed vegan. So I hope this helps some people. And like I said, make sure you share it with others. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to leave your questions and comments down below. So as always, enjoy the rest of your day and catch you on the flip side. Peace.